Welcome to a belated Wednesday ramblings when I look at the message for this coming Sunday. This week uh, is Palm Sunday and it's one of those days when I suppose we have uh, something to celebrate in particular. Um, I read recently a commentary by an American scripture scholar who said that uh, this Sunday is one of two very special days in the church's year, Ash Wednesday and Palm Sunday because on both days we take home something tangible from our Mass, the ashes of Ash Wednesday and the palm of Palm Sunday. It wasn't in any way discounting the fact that each Sunday we go away with something quite extraordinary, the body of Christ, to sustain us and fill us during the coming week. But the comment was made because there is a sense that we have a dichotomy in our lives, the great joyous account of people proclaiming Jesus as the son of David as he comes into Jerusalem, triumphantly greeted by the people, and yet only a few days later we see him being uh, condemned and the people, the same people, crying out to crucify him. So where do we fit in this story and who is the Jesus that we follow this week? Is it just the Jesus of the triumph or is it rather the Jesus who has humbled himself to lay down his life for us? in order, in the glory of the resurrection, to lift us up to be with him in the fullness of God's love. In recent times I've been reminded of the music of the of Godspell, um, where the prayer of Richard of Chichester was translated into um, a, a song that made a, a great deal of uh, impact on me back in the 70s when I first heard it. May I know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, and follow thee more nearly, day by day. I hope that this coming week you may be able to live that out as your desire to follow Jesus and to live as he has called us to live. God bless, and I hope and pray that your holy week will be a week of celebration in preparation for the glory of the resurrection.